In this example, we're going to go ahead and work this differential equation. It's going to be first order because the highest derivative is the first derivative. And it's going to be linear because we can transform it into this form right here. And also, we have an initial condition. So when we're done, we're going to have a particular solution for this differential equation instead of just a general solution. Well, let's get to work. So in order to write this equation in this linear form that we want, our y prime has to be all by itself. And it looks like it's being multiplied by x up here. So let's go ahead and divide every single term by x. So when I do that, my y prime is by itself. And then I have minus 4 over x y equals, and it looks like 6x squared as soon as I uh, simplify my x cubed over x. All right, so the next thing I need to identify is my p of x, because I need to use that to find my integrating factor. So my p of x looks like negative 4 over x. So I'm going to call my integrating factor r of x, and it's e to the power of the integral of my p of x, which is negative 4 over x with respect to x. The negative 4 on top, I'm going to go ahead and bring out front real quick as a constant. So I can say it's e to the power of negative 4 times the integral of 1 over x with respect to x. And of course, this integral right there is very standard. So it's going to be e to the negative 4 times the ln of x. Which I can use the properties of logs and take this negative 4 and move him over as an exponent. So it's now ln of x to the negative fourth. And one more step, the e and the natural log are inverses of one another. So when they cancel each other out, I'm just left with x to the negative fourth or 1 over x to the positive 4. And this will be my integrating factor. Well, what am I going to do with that integrating factor? Well, I'm going to go ahead and multiply it by every single term in my differential equation. So 1 over x to the fourth, and I'm going to multiply that through by y prime minus 4 over xy equals 6x squared. Okay, so here and here and here. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So 1 over x to the fourth y prime minus... 4 over x to the fifth equals, and it looks like 6x squared over x to the fourth. Well, what I can do is cancel this with the 4 and make that a 2. So let's go ahead and rewrite this and see what we have. So this left side ends up as the product rule for a derivative here. So whenever I take the integral of this left side, I'm going to end up with 1 over x to the fourth times y. And now when I integrate the right side, the simplification is actually 6x to the negative 2 with respect to x, because this x squared I went ahead and brought up to the numerator as a negative exponent, and that makes my integration process much easier. So I'm going to add 1 to the power, so that's negative 1, and then divide by that new power of negative 1. So when I rewrite all this, I'll have, uh, let's see, 6x to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And then I can just work some simplification here. So it'll be negative 6 over x plus c. So I think at this point would be a good time to go ahead and use our initial condition. y of 2 equals 24. So that means my x value is the 2, my y value is the 24. So let's go ahead and plug everything in here that we know and kind of solve for c. So 1 over 2 to the 4th times 24 equals negative 6 over 2 plus c. Well, 2 to the 4th is going to be 16. And then 24 over 16, I can actually divide an 8 out of both of those. So I have 3 halves equals negative 6 halves plus c. So when I add 6 halves to both sides, it looks like my value of c is going to be 9 halves. So let's go ahead and plug that back in right here. So I have 
1 over x to the fourth y equals negative 6 over x plus 9 halves. And let's go ahead and multiply everything through by x to the fourth so I can isolate my y. So it'll be negative 6 over x times x to the fourth plus 9 halves times x to the fourth. And this x and the x to the fourth will cancel. That'll become an x cubed. So y equals negative 6 x cubed plus 9 halves x to the fourth. And that will be the particular solution given our original differential equation and initial condition.